Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Lexus RX 350, and we're gonna do the Chrome Delete installation for the front grille. So as you can see, this is how it looks before the installation, and this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material in order to match the color scheme of the vehicle and to match the color of the grille. If you like the product, link for the product will be down in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before starting the installation, we want to make sure we prep the chrome panel. So what I'm using to clean the panel is 70% alcohol with water mixed in it. So just spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and start cleaning the panel. And make sure once you're finished cleaning the panel that everything is dry before we do the installation. So for this one, we're going to start off with the very bottom piece. You are going to have excess material that covers everything. So as you can see, it covers there and it covers over there. To have it aligned, what you can do to make things easier is just align it from one end first and then just work your way to the other end. Or you can match the cutout of the film here to the corner here. For example, right here, it should meet it up to there and you would do the same to the other side here. Match where the curve is at. And once you have it tacked down, if you need to lift it to arrange it, rearrange it, you can. So this one is just going to cover up to where the body line of the bottom half of the grill is. So roughly around here. Now that we place the film down, now we can start tagging it down. So tack down the flat surface first. And now that we tack down the flat surface, we'll move on to the lower half. So for this section here, because there is a small curve, we are going to need to use heat in order to attack it down and remove these fingers that come out little by little. So just lift the film here, give yourself enough room to work with, and then we're going to apply heat and squeegee them down little by little. And right here you can lift the film and tack it down because it is going to overlap with this film. And start tagging it down. And then just finish off with installing this section. If you need to rearrange it, you can. And then with heat, we'll just finish off this bottom half here. And then you would just rinse and repeat the same steps that we did for this side to the other edge on the other side of the grill. Okay, and once you're done installing this whole bottom piece, you are going to notice that you have excess material on the bottom half of the chrome here. That excess material, just grab your blade and trim it off. But just be careful when you're trimming off, make sure you find the gap between the grill and the lower piece of the bumper here. And when you find the gap, that's where you could insert the blade and slowly work your way in trimming off the excess material. So find the gap first. Once you find it, insert slowly and just take your time in trimming off the excess material. So moving on with the next install here on top, you can start by aligning it on one corner here. So it does have a cutout here if you see it. This cutout, match it right on the outline or cutout of the grill here. So you can do it from either side, but just to show you, I'll do it on this end. Once you have it there, we could leave this right here. Our focus is to align everything and tack it down across the upper piece of the grill here. And with this one, align it just right on the edge of the top of the grill here. So give yourself enough material to align it. And if you do lift the film to readjust it, just lift it slowly. If you lift it hard, you might accidentally tear the film. So you want to take your time looking at it and just making sure it's aligned and you're covering the chrome. Now the next step is to tack it down. So with your squeegee, tack down the flat surface, making sure you're careful not to crease the film. If there is fingers, take your time in tacking them down. Squeegee at an angle. And now we finish off tacking down the bottom piece. And the film is going to overlap just a bit on the bottom half that we installed first, but that's perfectly fine. And now we move on to this little piece here. So with this one, I recommend applying heat because if you don't apply heat, it is going to be hard to install it. So let's assume you didn't apply heat and you try to tack this down without adding heat. It's gonna look like this and you are going to have this finger here. What I recommend doing just so it could be easier for you to install is applying heat. And once you finish applying heat, then you can start helping tack down this piece of the film and covering this half of the chrome. 
So you don't need a lot of heat, you just need a little bit in order to release the tension on the film and make it more flexible to install. So now it feels more flexible and with your finger, start helping it tack down and making sure while you're tacking down, you're only covering just this section here because right here we could trim it off. So just continue. If you need to lift and readjust, you can. Just rinse and repeat. So like this. And if you need to continue adding heat, you can. Just a little bit, let it cool off and then work your way on installing it. And just like that, it should look flush. And now this curve here, we'll do the same thing. Apply heat and with our finger, just help it tack down. Okay, and like I said, once you're done installing this section and you do the same to the other side, you just come back and trim off any excess material that you have. So right here, we wanna cut it right where the cutout of the grill was at. So find where the gap is first. Once you find it, you can start trimming it off. And this part of the film, you could either tuck in or trim off. So I'll just trim off for right now. And you just rinse and repeat the same steps that we did here for the other side. And that's it, you're pretty much done with the bottom half. For this next piece, we're just gonna start off where we left off. So align it right where we did the cutout for the trim. So you're gonna feel that the grill has a cutout of the grill where it separates the bottom half from the middle half here. So align it there. And then once you have it aligned, just follow the design of the grill and just take your time. So it should be like this. And now we're just gonna work our way with the flat surface here first. If you do have small fingers, we'll apply heat just to help remove the fingers here. So we'll focus on tacking down this section here. So you see, to remove fingers, don't squeegee straight ahead onto it because if you do, you will create a crease. What I recommend doing is adding heat and then squeegeeing at an angle like this. That way you bring down the squeegee little by little and you don't accidentally crease it. So with this one, you could either apply heat as well and just work your way in installing it with your finger like this. So what I recommend doing first is tacking down the curved area of the body line of the grill here. So go like this. Once you have tacked down this whole section, then we could start bringing the whole film around and just follow up. And you could use your hand or your squeegee to tack it down. And then just help the film tack down. We could apply heat here, so just lift it. And the same thing we did for the bottom half here to apply heat and help it tack down without having any fingers, we'll do up here as well. So add a little bit of heat, let it cool off, and then just help it tack down. And then of course the excess material that we do have, it will be trimmed off. So now all you need to do now is go with heat all around here to secure it because there might be times where it lifts, like for example here. So just go around with heat just to help it tack down. And the last thing to do is trim off the excess material and then find the gap as well. There is a gap here. Just use your finger to find it. Once you find the gap, that's where you'll pass the blade and trim it off the excess material. It should come off like that and now we move on to the top section here okay so for this piece it's the same steps start where you left off here or you could align it from the top edge here doesn't really matter as long as you give yourself enough material so start from the bottom half and match it where we left off so right here and make sure you give yourself enough material to cover the chrome as usual so right here lay it down and it should sit flat like this and just tack it down squeegee Tack down this whole area, and that's it. This one's pretty simple. Right here, you could either tuck in the film or trim off, personal preference. So we'll try tucking it in. We will use heat gun just to help the adhesive activate the tucking in. And then just trim off the excess material. Find the gap and trim it off. So once you finish installing this whole section and you install the other side too, you can move on with this last piece here. So with this one, just give yourself enough material to cover the chrome here. So let's lay it down here. Start from one end, make sure you're covering the chrome. So roughly enough room to cover it here. Once you install it, just follow the lower part of the grill. Use it as a guide to install the rest of the film. So just lift and tack down until you reach it to the other half here. 
Now that we have placed the film onto the grill, it's just tacking down now. So go to each section, tack it down, and tack down the bottom half as well. And now with heat, we're gonna go all around from bottom and top, from top to bottom, adding heat and helping the film tack down to the grill. So the same thing we've been doing all along here, just find the gap between the grill and the adhesive and just trim off from there. So find the cutout and just trim off from there. So for this last piece, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Just align it from one end, align it and match it to this piece and then work your way and tacking down the rest of it. Once you align it in its place, you start tacking down. And then apply heat just to help the tack down process faster. And then just trim off any excess material. Okay, so the last thing to do once you finish installing the whole front grill piece is post heating all around. That way we help the adhesive on the film activate and it sticks better to the panel. So just grab your heat gun and if you have a heat resistant glove to help you wrap around edges, you can use one. If you don't, you can use your squeegee as well. Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the Chrome Delete for the front grill for the Lexus RX350. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.